Hello, this is Lee Natero. In this video, I'll be showing you how to compute p-values from t-distributions on the TI-8384 calculator. At first, I'll be showing you how to do this based on the operating system of 2.55, where there's a template already for you to fill in. To begin, hit second, vars, to see a list of distributions. We're going to choose option 6, tcdf. And I want the p-value that's associated with a t-score of 1.54 shaded to the right, degrees of freedom 11. So t greater than or equal to 1.54. I'm interested in that p-value. So my lower bound is 1.54. And my upper bound, technically the t-distribution continues forever to the right. So the upper bound is technically infinity, but 10,000 should be sufficiently large and my degrees of freedom is 11. I come down here to paste and this is a nice feature of the 2.55 operating system since you don't have to remember the specific syntax. Now the reason that worked is because of my operating system being 2.55 or later and because I had my stat wizard turn on. Um, if you have the the newer operating system and it doesn't seem to work it's probably because you have the stat wizard turned off. And let me show you what happens if you have the stat wizard turned off. If you have the stat wizard turned off when you do this calculation, um, notice there's no template for you to fill, fill in. You have to remember the syntax. You have to remember that first you have the lower bound and then the upper bound and then your degrees of freedom. So that's a little harder since you have to remember that. It's much easier if you have the, the template that you just have to fill in. Let's talk about finding the p-value for a two-sided test. Let's use degrees of freedom 36 and a test statistic value of negative 3.17. So since this is a two-tailed test, we'll need to double our, our value that we get to get our true p-value. So we're going to do two times df. And because I'm interested in the area to the left of negative 3.17, my lower bound is negative infinity, technically. But negative 10,000 should be sufficiently small. Then we have negative 3.17. And our degrees of freedom is 36. Once again, if I had the stat wizard turned on, in my operating system 2.55, I would have had a dialog box pop up where I could just enter the values and not have to remember the syntax.